another comparison, tarot comparison video. And I don't know if this is going to be like the first one that's going to be uploaded or not, or what kind of order this is going to be. I'm doing a few of these that has kind of been brought up by a viewer. And I'm like, through a few comments, I'm like, why don't I do comparison videos? And they're like, okay. <laughs> so this one is, I kind of grouped a few together <coughs> as a love slash history slash art kind of comparison video. So, and I think you'll see why in the section of these. So, Terrace of Casanova, this one is also in my adults only 18 plus comparison video. But the reason why it's in here deals with love and it's Venetian society in the 1700s. Art Nouveau, so kind of expository on itself, Tarot of the Renaissance, and apparently um, another person who watched my uh, review of this one says that I apparently have a different background than uh, another, other decks of this. So I'm like, okay. <laughs> And I originally, I don't know, by the time of me ending recording this or and uploading this, I don't know if I'll actually have a look to see about the other backgrounds to this, but apparently I've this deck has a different background than the, the other versions. Uh, Romantic Tarot. Uh, this one has a few different um, societies like in place throughout the deck itself. Muchitero, so you're getting a box and based off of the artist, artist uh, named Mucha off of, because I'm pretty sure that's one of uh, uh, artwork, a standalone artwork uh, that you can get. So this one is coming in handy box. Uh, Tattoo Tarot and Tarot um, Art Nouveau Mini. So, a lot to cover in this one. So, Tattoo Tarot is the newest one in, I guess, this selection. And you get a hard box for it. And, like, gold foil. And, like, I found, I got this at the Vancouver Art Gallery. And so it comes with a ribbon there. And I'm, I don't know if I've done standalone video on this or not. I don't think I have. Uh, the back is like a, almost like a playing card back. And th this design, if upright or reverse, you kind of get, you get the same image. And it's based off of uh, Tattoo Tarot Ink and Intuition. Um, gives a little information about the history of tattooing and okay so like I think there's um Oh, they have a few spreads that you could have a look at. And then, like, the book is a little bigger than other ones. But, of course, it's a um, slightly bigger deck. Okay, there we go. Um... Mega Munden is a UK-based illustrator whose commissions range from illustrations for advertising, fashion, product design, and publishing to large-scale murals and tattoo designs. He's currently a senior designer at multidisciplinary design agency I Love Dust, 
And his previous publications for Lawrence King include the Tattoo Coloring Book, the Tattoo Flash Coloring the flash coloring book and tattoo color and postcards and then diana mcmullen cullis has studied and practiced tarot for over 30 years so those are the people who uh made this and like all the detail is in the design not the background so yeah, you're getting a border, so it's not like border, so it's not a borderless deck, but the design is confined in this little box there. And you're just, for, as you can see, the main focus is the suit. So, in this case, the swords. Yeah, so the cold cards, you are getting a physical person for it. But again, the main focus is one specific area, and you're not, like, totally, like, bleh, image. Like, it just seems like a design you would have for, a t like, a tattoo on, say, like, your shoulder or something. Like, like I see, I could see somebody having this like on the on their back or like going like right here. So and like it's. Very, very detailed and well done. And, like... Like... Just see the coins, oh my goodness. And it... And the card stock isn't flimsy. I'm pretty sure I've wasted a good majority of this video already on just this deck. Okay, so, and when going into the Major Arcana, you're, instead of going from zero up, it's going, um, 21 down. And so, again, not a full-on image, but... Again, it's more focused on how it would look like if it was actually tattooed on somebody's body. So, and it almost looks like kind of like the cards pre Raider Smith deck. So, like the Marseille and, um, other decks before that so you have that and it's in the sturdy box and to the next sturdy box Teramucha you are getting pretty decent Book, um, an extraordinary tribute to the art of Alphonse Mucha and to the tarot masters of the past. So you're getting kind of a chunky book, but well done. And so I'm kind of making, I've noticed me talking about like the back in my other video. And I likely will another ones because I'm I'm batch recording these comparison <laughs> videos. Um, that you can kind of tell when it's 
upright or reversed depending on the image on the back. So in this one, you can tell if it's upright or reversed. And I'm pretty sure this is as well watercolored or like watercolor. And the borders are really well done. Um, yeah, this is a Los Cabrio deck. So you are getting the numbers on the top and bottom and you aren't getting the name of the card so you don't have the empress written anywhere on here or the emperor on here you're just getting the image you are you're just getting the image the borders are like yeah, it's uh, pretty much the same border, but oh, I love that border. Yeah, the the borders vary slightly when you get into like move from the major arcana to the suits and even yeah, in the suits they change like it's like the um elemental wise go with it. So like you're going like water and it's like a blue border. And this one like growth and like earth and like you're getting flowers on this one. And the use of his works and the interpretations of how these cards would be in, in them is amazing and i think a few of these are actually his paintings because i'm pretty sure that and this one are certain um are works that he did do because i don't think he did a tear like images just for tarot but double read the book that's given to you but yeah so for a more historical art arty kind of deck Tero Mucho because it is based off of uh, artist's work and his works being used as images in the deck so romantic tarot you're getting a few different cities in the same same time period so and a lot of these are Los Cabrio um, all of them except for um, Tattoo Tarot are Los, Los Cabrio so uh, Romance does exactly the same this is Derek message in the precise historical period, the late late 19th century and dawning on the 20th century in four European cities considered to be the ideal settings for romantic love, Venice, Vienna, Ro Rome, and Paris. So you kind of go between each in here. And um, Tattoo Tarot is Lawrence King. So, uh, and the borders, so for the back, you can't really see which one would be um, upright or reverse, and you get this kind of floral design, and when you get into It changes colors once you get into the minor arcana. It stays this green color throughout the minor arcana, and the major has like this kind of burnt gold kind of color. So, I don't know why I'm thinking all of these that I'm like showing are like watercolor imageries, but. Oh, and you're getting a reference to past decks <laughs> through there. So, 
So, like, any, in a number of these, you can kind of tell in what city they are in. So, but it's really nicely well done. And a nice little deck if you are looking at doing a reading of love and you want that kind of imagery of like cities of love, you get that in this um, in this deck. So you do get Uh, that kind of feel so you aren't getting like 21st century kind of love imagery you're getting 19 late 19th early 20th century uh, imageries in four different European countries so if you just wanted one specific country you would want a deck like Tarot Tarot of Casanova but that this is more um, general love that can be re uh, read for like anybody. Tarot of Casanova, as you'll see, or if you've seen the 18 plus deck, not everybody may like each single card in this, where everybody can pretty much deal with each card, like 100% of it. Um, Tarot of the Renaissance, so Renaissance Italy and it's Italy that had the Renaissance and after they had theirs um, other places kind of had their own or um, during the Italian Renaissance um, other countries kind of was looking into Italy about um, what they were doing so You got that as the background and like to me this is the most harsh kind of color you will get in here. Yeah, cause like you are, for a good majority, for pretty much all of these, you're getting a pastel kind of vibe. Um, so all of these kind of have a toned down bright, brighty kind of, kind of colors, well, except for the Tarot Mucho or, and Tattoo Tarot. Um, but this one is the most like pastel kind of, kind of coloring. Like even with a dark uh, scene like, um, like this, it's kind of toned down, not as harsh. So instead of like a black or a really darker blue, you're getting yeah, it's a dark blue, but not not as dark. So, and again, more historical re representation rather than like a general what you would see in like the Raider um, white deck. And like the suits, um, for the suits, the like the suits kind of are part of the scene. Sometimes they aren't. So in this, it is like Part of the sky 
and like this just seems more of like designing the drapery but yeah pastel kind of feel to it so you have that in here so So the next ones are going to be the regular size and the mini size Art Nouveau. So not everybody is going to like this one because like not everybody's liking this uh, style of, again, with this back, you kind of know what's upright and reverse. So, like with Art Nouveau, like, it kind of seems that a lot is kind of going on, like, detail-wise and border-wise with it. So, and then... Okay, so as you can see, um, there's a different background on the mini DAC. So this one's more pastel purple than that, the other one. And then, okay, let, let me get... It's the same images, just smaller and a different... See... And then again, like that's a comparison of what is done on the back. With the larger one, you know this is going to be upright, but with the mini version, it's the same image upright or reversed. So if you are a reader who wants, like who does upright and reversed and is kind of concerned about like about like what people think if it's up this way or this way when you like if don't reveal it until you um, come to that card if that's a concern for you maybe the mini deck is for you or another deck that um, isn't like that so and and so it this mini deck is just as busy as this one and with um, the minor um, the like cups, swords, or whatever are coming up this way and, oh, and are not part of the scene it's just going upwards it's almost cutting into the scene so and yeah and it does the same in the mini version so it cuts out even more of the image so if that's a concern for you um, it is there is that so if you do like cards that have the um, suit in it. Um, Art Nouveau um, cuts cuts into the image and goes a little up here, so it's not um, incorporating the suit into it. So, but yeah, there's the Art Tarot Art Nouveau decks, and then the last one for this one. Oh my goodness, this I have no idea what time. I'm on for this one, but um, this is likely going to be the longest one. Um, 
is uh, Terrors of Casanova. So this one, whether it's upright or reversed, it's the same image. And you're getting this blue color. And it's in um, the Venetian Republic in the 1700s. So you are getting that style of color and clothing and what people would be doing in that time period. And so it's very well detailed and there's not much um, incorporation of the suits into this one, into the scene. So if you're not one for, um, well, except for the core cards, um, again, the s suits like the wands and swords aren't being um, incorporated in into the deck like um, other decks would be and it's more focusing on the scene at hand than anything else and yeah so <laughs> again not everyone might be comfortable in seeing a lot of the um, a few of the images in here so um, if you want to see a few more, go see my individual video on this or the 18 plus comparison video. But yeah, so you got Tales of Casanova, both the regular size and mini version of Tarot Art Nouveau. Tarot of the Renaissance. Romantic Tarot, Tarot Mucha, and Tattoo Tarot. And um, other than this one, the other ones are from Los Gabriel, so you can get it off of Llewellyn if you're in the States. Um, if you're in Canada like me, they direct you to Amazon. Um, I've found, again, I found this one in the Vancouver Art Gallery. Um, their stock is likely gone by now. Um, one of them I found in a used bookstore. I've gotten the rest likely through chapters. So, or at a uh, Pagan New Age fair. So, <coughs> yeah. So, love art history kind of combos for this uh, tarot comparison video. Thank you for watching if you've made it this far. Um, thank you. Happy readings.